Welcome to the Community Services Block Grant, or CSBG, listening session to provide an overview of the proposed changes to the CSBG annual report. Today's session will focus primarily on the tribal annual report and new tribal short form. My name is Charles Cheer, and I serve as a statistician, lead for tribal data and evaluation and as a data and evaluation specialist for regions three and 10. On April 22nd, 2024, the Office of Community Services released a Dear Colleague letter detailing revisions to the entire reporting structure for CSBG to include tribes, tribal organizations, states, and territories. Today, we will provide an overview of those changes. We will now shift into the content of today's listening session. We'll kick off the session with a welcome. We'll then provide an overview of the proposed changes to the CSBG annual report. I wanna share some thoughts that will hopefully set the stage for meaningful comments. First, it was critically important that we take dedicated time as a federal office to examine the type of data collected from tribes in an equitable manner. At the onset of this administration, in her very first meeting with the CSBG network, our director, Dr. Laniqua Howard, committed to looking at all the data we collect to ensure everything has an intended use for the federal office. Over the last three years, OCS has attended more than 100 site visits, met tribal administrators and local agencies in one-on-ones, small group meetings and conferences, responded to annual report training and technical assistance requests, reviewed the feedback provided through the annual tribal meetings, and we heard firsthand from many of you about the challenges you face when working to collect the information needed for the annual report. As part of the commitment made, we took all your feedback and then examined everything we collect, including the utility of each individual data point, both on its own and among the full list of data elements. Similarly, we used your feedback to better understand how to amplify the stories of how tribes using self-determination leverage CSBG funding to meet the needs of their tribal members. In some cases, this was funding programs that repaired refrigerators for elders to keep their diabetes medication cold, or was seeing how tribes mobilized their funding to be on the front lines when natural disasters devastated their communities. Based on this examination, we have proposed some updates to our reporting structure for tribes to include, streamline and clarify what the federal government is requesting, shaping the data we collect to be equitable across all levels and types of government, enhance how we use technology for tribes to relieve some of the administrative burden, reduce burden on the annual report contributors and focus the federal data collection on the specific items OCS needs to effectively support the CSBG network and develop a shorter form for tribes that receive less than $50,000. So the amount of data you collect doesn't outweigh the resources you receive. It is ultimately our responsibility as a federal office to think about the utility of the data we collect as well as the burden to the grant recipients, sub-recipients, individuals and families gathering and reporting this data. And ensure we are being thoughtful about we at, what we ask of each of you. We designed the report to be flexible as tribes drive uniquely tailor their services in a way that's culturally responsive and targeted to their communities. We hope that as you hear about the high level changes we are proposing, you will see your comments and feedback over the years reflected in these changes. We thank each and every one of you for the work you do daily to serve millions of individuals and families across this country.
This presentation provides an overview of the proposed changes to the CSVG annual report and will give instructions on submitting written comments. We have taken an extensive look at the data collected, data submitted, where the data ends up, and how it's used across the lifecycle reporting, and proposed some important and substantial changes. For ease of following the changes, we'll begin with images of the different instruments within the Office of Management and Budget, OMB control number. Think of the control number as the umbrella and all these instruments under it. Under this number, OCS is proposing four instruments for collecting data, and on your screen, they appear left to right. The blue at the far left is CSPG Annual Report 2.1 or attachment D when looking at the DCL. Next is the orange, which is CSBG annual report 3.0 or attachment A. Then there is the magenta, which is the CSBG tribal annual report or attachment E. And finally on the far right is the green, which is CSBG tribal short form or attachment F. For direct funded CSBG tribes and tribal organizations, we will spend most of the time today detailing the magenta and green forms. OCS is hosting several listening sessions throughout the month of May to provide an overview of the two reports on the left. As shared, the updated structure of data collection was redesigned to thread what's collected when we discussed telling the CSVG story, we wanted to be equitable by including everyone and that what we ask also considers the burden of collection and reporting in an equitable manner. Following the same coloring, CSVG annual report 2.1 is what we currently collect and, and is required by the 53 CSVG funded states and territories. CSVG Annual Report 3.0 is the updated collection that will represent the ceiling of what we collect from all grant recipients. OCS recognizes the, are, these are significant changes in Annual Report 3.0, and the network will require some time to adapt and implement these changes, so we will discuss the incremental approach to implementation later in this session. Then we have CSVG Tribal Annual Report based on CSVG Annual Report 3.0 and is a modification of that ceiling. This is collected directly from direct funded CSVG tribes and tribal organizations that receive $50,000 or more. And finally, the CSVG Tribal Short Form is a shortened version of the CSVG Tribal Annual Report for tribes receiving less than $50,000. Again, for today's presentation, we will focus primarily on the magenta and green forms. Throughout the report, OCS has streamlined the domains for services to match across tribes, tribal organizations, states, and territories. OCS now asks for information organized into seven domains, employment, education and youth development, income and asset building, housing, health and nutrition, civic engagement and community involvement, and transportation. Our office wants to amplify that element of the CSBG story and ensure the tribal story is richly tied in. One of the key things we heard when engaging with tribes is how some receive smaller amounts of funding and the data collected may not be commiserate with the allocation. So tribes and tribal organizations receiving $50,000 or more would be required to use the tribal annual report form 
And those tribes and tribal organizations receiving less than $50,000 would use the tribal short form. Both would be due on March 31st, as it's the day all reports are due from every CSBG grant recipient. We're also working to build out the online data collection and grant solutions so tribes no longer have to contend with populating information into a PDF, but rather enter directly into the system and click submit. We'll now shift into the tribal annual report, which is to be completed by tribes and tribal organizations receiving more than $50,000. As shared before, this is a modified version of the larger annual report that states complete. What this does is create some commonality between all our reports. So when we aggregate nationally to tell the CSBG story, there's a baseline for all government, tribal, state, and local but still leaves ample flexibility for tribes and tribal organizations as they self-determine how to meet their community needs. This report is organized as only three modules and has 25 individual indicators. Modified significantly from the 787 that states and ter territories complete. And this again would be required only by those tribes and tribal organizations receiving more than $50,000 in direct funding. That's currently about 25 tribes and tribal organizations. First, we have the tribal administration module or module one. For the tribal administrators who oversee the community services block grant, this captures basic information with within one section, section A. This is confirming the name of the tribe or tribal organization receiving funding as listed in the tribal plan. The program official with the responsibility for carrying out the duties of the grant administration. Phone number, and finally the fax number. Tribes and tribal organizations have historically captured this information in a PDF form. With OMB approval, OCSDCA aims to build out a custom OLDC tribal and report to resemble this. Our hope is that it reduces some of the administrative burden for tribes and tribal organizations to simply enter it into a system rather than manage multiple documents. Next, in the CSBG Tribal and Report, we have the CSBG Tribal Expenditures, which details how the allocations are used to support a specific domain. This is organized, this is organized in one section. This module would include the amount tribes retain to cover administrative expenses. And then it captures expenditures by each of the seven domains, which as a reminder are employment, education and youth development, income and asset building, housing, health and nutrition, civic engagement and community involvement, transportation. The section also captures any expenditures for partnerships, linkages and coordinating services as tribes and tribal organizations leverage the resources across their communities to enhance the lives of individuals and families. With the build out of OLDC, we aim to have a simple interface as seen here, where tribal grant recipients would simply enter the expenditure by domain, and the system would auto calculate it based on the total. As part of the implementation of the CSBG Tribal Annual Report, once OMB approved, OCSDCA will provide robust training and technical assistance on using OLDC to support tribes. But today we'll demonstrate how this may look. Let's say a tribal grant recipient received $180,000 and has no administrative expenditures. They would add in the amounts they expended by area. 
The final module, individual and family level, is where a greater part of the story is told about how tribes use CSVG funding. This is intended to capture the services, innovation strategies, and outcomes within tribal communities. For the tribal and report, this is two sections that captures narratives and the characteristics that people served. Section A. This would be the reporting, as you all know, which is a narrative by domain. So when an expenditure is reported, there would be a requirement to enter a narrative. Section B, as we work to expand the stories of how tribes are using CSBG funding to support their communities, we want to include who is served. Here for each domain, if an expenditure is reported in module one, you can enter a written narrative detailing the services, innovative strategies, and outcomes. So using the example above, examples may include employment, a job fair at the local tribal community center that focus on resume building and skills training, education and youth development, partnering with the local boys and girls club to provide youth mental health first aid, income and asset building, providing credit repair services or basic classes on starting a small business. Housing, providing services like rental payment assistance or helping people avoid foreclosure or eviction. Health and nutrition, activities like gardening, traditional food classes, fishing, hunting, or sustenance, sustenance skill building. Civic engagement, teaching community members how to engage in community strategies or leadership skills development. Transportation, a bus route created to take community members to medical appointments, to local grocery stores, or providing vouchers for transportation. These are just some examples, and as we expand training and technical assistance, we'll provide supplemental materials like manuals and guides on how to craft strong narratives based on tribal-led activities and services. Section B takes the narrative a step further and adds the who, a line to be a shortened version of what states and territories submit the section captures some basic data points to tell the rich story of CSBG through the lens of tribes. These include gender, age, military, work status. These categories were identified as it helps get a better understanding for where the needs are at the individual level. It considers that many indigenous communities serve multi-generational households, and that indigenous people serve at higher rates in our armed forces. And finally, it helps paint the picture of the need for economic mobility. We will now shift into the CSBG tribal short form, which is a truncated version of the CSBG tribal and report for tribes and tribal organizations receiving less than $50,000. The tribal short form is identical to the tribal and report, but captures five less data points, the all characteristics. First, we have the tribal administration module or module one. For the tribal administrators who oversee the community services block grant, this captures basic information within one section, section A. This is confirming the name of the tribe or tribal organization receiving funding as listed in the tribal plan. The program official with the responsibility for carrying out the duties of the, of the grant administration, phone number, and finally the fax number. Tribes and tribal organizations have historically captured this information in a PDF form. With OMB approval, OCSDCA aims to build out a custom OLDC tribal and report to resemble this. 
Our hope is that it reduces some of the administrative burden for tribes and tribal organizations to simply enter it to a system rather than manage multiple documents. Next, in the CSBG tribal short form, we have the CSBG tribal expenditures, which details how the allocations are used to support a specific domain. This is organized in one section. This module would include the amount tribes retain to cover administrative expenses. And then it captures expenditures by each of the seven domains, which as a reminder are employment, education and youth development, income and asset building, housing, health and nutrition, civic engagement and community involvement, transportation. This section also captures any expenditures for partnerships, linkages, and coordinating services as tribes and tribal organizations leverage the resources across their communities to enhance the lives of individuals and families. With the build out of OLDC, we aim to have a simple interface as seen here, where tribal grant recipients would simply enter the expenditure by domain and the system would auto calculate it based on the total. As part of the implementation of the CSBG tribal short form, once OMB approved, OCSDCA will provide robust training and technical assistance on using OLDC to support tribes. But today we'll demonstrate how this may look. Let's say a tribal grant recipient received $40,000 and has no administrative expenditures. They would add in the amounts they expended by area. The final module, individual and family level, is where a greater part of the story is told about how tribes use CSBG funding. This is intended to capture the services, innovation strategies, and outcomes within tribal communities. For the tribal short form, this is in one section, one less that than the tribal annual report. Section A, this would be the reporting, as you all know, which is the narrative by domain. So when an expenditure is reported, there will be a requirement to enter a narrative. So here for each domain, if an expenditure is reported in module one, you can enter a written narrative detailing the services, innovative strategies, and outcomes. So using the example above, examples may include employment, a job fair at the local tribal community center that focus on resume building and skills training, education and youth development, partnering with the local boys and girls club to provide youth mental health first aid, Income and asset building, providing credit repair services or basic classes on starting a small business. Housing, providing services like rental payment assistance or helping people avoid foreclosure or eviction. Health and nutrition, activities like gardening, traditional food classes, fishing, hunting, or sustenance skill building. Civic engagement teaching community members how to engage in community strategies or leadership skills development. Transportation, a bus route created to take community members to medical appointments, to local grocery stores, or providing vouchers for transportation. These are just some examples, and as we expand training and technical assistance, we'll provide supplemental materials like manuals and guides on how to craft strong narratives based on tribal-led activities and services. As outlined in the DCL, once OMB approved, this report would take effect beginning with the FY 2024 CSBG annual report due on March 31st, 2025. The FY 2025 CSBG annual report due on March 31st, 2026 would be for either the tribal annual report or tribal short form, depending on your funding level. The FY 2026 CSBG annual report due on March 31st, 2027, would be for either the tribal and report or tribal short form, depending on your funding level. We will now shift into how you can provide comments. Members of the public may submit comments within 60 days of the posting of the Federal Register Notice. To do so, review the questions at the bottom of the notice or email your comments to 
info collection at ACF period, HHS period, GOV by June 21st, 2024. Please note that the department and ACF will provide consideration to comments and suggestions submitted within the 60 day comment period directly to info collection at ACF period, HHS period, GOV. So all comments submitted by June 21st, 2024. Following that time, HHS and ACF will respond to comments through OMB and a final 30 day notice will be issued with changes pending OMB approval. We hope that today you all saw your feedback reflected in these changes and see an emphasis on the utility of each individual data point, both on its own and among the full list of data elements. As shared earlier, a key element was ensuring that we think of an equitable approach to data collection for tribes, add them to the fold of how we tell the rich story of CSBG and be thoughtful about the burden on tribal administrators and tribal communities. On behalf of the Office of Community Services, Division of Community Assistance, we thank you for your feedback and your partnership.